Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you part 4 of Baby Elements. Baby Elements has been designed by Sandra Kuyer from Hooks and Yarn. In the video description you'll find a link to the written pattern. In this video I'll show you part 4, in which we'll be making this lovely flower detail, very similar to the flower that we've made before in part 3. So we're going to be echoing that pattern and we're going to be adding color to the outside edges of the blanket as well. So that's what we're doing in part 4. My yarn, I'm using Schepius Callista yarn and Schepius Soft Fun yarn. My colors are on my blog, also a link in the video description. And for this part I'm using a 5mm hook for all the rounds. I'll take you step by step through everything that makes up part 4. Thank you for watching. We're going to start by working a short row around the little um, flower that we started here halfway on one of your edges. I'm going to work this on both of these little um, little flower edges. So you've got these five half doubles. We're going to work working around that. I have color three on my hook with a slip stitch. Or a slip knot I should say. And we're going to start in the chain one space as before these five half doubles. So you've got those five half doubles, you've got a single there and that chain one space. In there start with a single crochet. And this is of course a standing single. We have a front post single here where the five half doubles were worked into. That front post single work a front post half a uh, front post double around that. So that means around that stitch pick up and work the double. Coming back to the five half doubles here, work a single crochet in each of those. So you're just going to have to just pull your stitch a bit to the side to get into that first half double. So that's one, two, three, Four and five singles. We work another front post double here around the same position, that front post single that we already have that double in. So yarn over, so just stack it in front of your previous stitch. So in that same position. There we go. And you're going to finish this um, small little round by going to that first chain one. You see there's the single, I'm going to skip that. Then here's the chain one space, that first chain one space there. Work a single crochet in there. There we go. You can cut your yarn. Open this up. And then you're finished on the one side with the short row. Do the same on the other side and then we're ready for a long row again with the white yarn. Round 33. You're currently in that chain 2 there, that double crochet with a slip stitch. We're going to start by going with a slip stitch to the half double and that's the stitch that I've marked here. So that's just the slip stitch. There we go, slip stitch into the half double. Now we're ready to start the new corner. The corner is a double, half double, chain one, single and everything in that same position. I'm going to do a chain two for my double. So this is a double crochet followed by a half double in the same position. Chain one I'm actually just going to mark that half double again because that just helps me to keep track of uh, of the corners. That half double. So I've just done a chain one, and then I'm, I have to finish the corner with a single crochet in the same stitch. So in that same stitch, there's a single. That's the new corner on round 33. I'm just going to turn my work. 
To continue on the straight edge, I'm going to work in a lot of single crochets, chain ones, until you're to the center where you've got the, um, the flower working uh, starting. So to start this um, the straight edge, we start with a chain one and then a single crochet in the next chain one space. And if you look carefully, you see it's in that space in there. See there's the single, that's the half double. Now in between there's a chain one space. So I'm just gonna insert my hook in there. So that's the first single. And this we're going to repeat 18 more times. You're gonna have 19 of those singles. So it's chain one, then come to the next space which is here. Work a single, chain one, come to the next space and work a single. And you're going to continue this until you're to the flower in the center. So I'm going to make a jump in the video and then I'll see you at the center, which is here where I've got my blue yarn. I've done the repeat 17 times and now I'm in the chain space just before the small flower here. So to repeat number 18, it's going to be chain one. And then in the same spaces where you already have that single crochet from the flower, work another single. So you're going to have two singles in that same chain one space. And now you should have, if you count starting from the corner, so you've got the single crochet you did in the corner, you do not count that one, but you're starting from the first single, so after the corner, then you should now have 19 white single crochets. Around the flower, what we're going to be doing, we're going to skip the first single crochet because we've got that blue single there, we're going to skip that and come to the front post stitch. Work a single crochet in that front post stitch. The five singles you have here, are going to work a back post single in each of those. So you've got five back post singles. That, that first single crochet here, there we go, so that's number one, that's one, two, three, four, and this here is number five. five front post of her back post singles. I'm just gonna just need to pull my yarn tail here a bit to keep that stitch closed. So you now have the front post stitch. That, that front post we're going to skip and then work a single crochet in the single. So in that last single work a single crochet. And just like we did on this side, on that side next to the single crochet, so you've got that single in that same space, work another single crochet. So again, exactly next to it. And a chain one. And now we're ready to start the next series of uh, linen stitch stitches here on this edge. I'm going to work a single crochet in the next space. That's on that one there. And a chain one. And that single chain one do that 17 more times. So this is repeat one, chain one, this is repeat two, chain one, and continue until you've done 17. That'll bring you to the corner. Then I'll just see you for that last bit here at the corner and for the next edge. Then the repeat 16 times. Number 17 falls here in the chain one space before the half double. So in that chain one space is single crochet number 17 and a chain one. So now you can have since the repeat stitch, so that's not counting the one that you made next to the blue stitch here, but starting from there you now have 18 singles in total. I'm going to work the corner so in the marked half double 
going to work a single crochet. I'm just going to remove the marker. Actually, we're going to skip the half double. My apologies. We're going to skip the half double. So that's the half double. We're going to skip that. And then in the double crochet, start the corner, which is a single crochet, chain one, followed by a half double, which I am again going to mark. There's my stitch marker. I'm going to mark that half double again. And then a double crochet. And that's the new corner. So you've made that in the double. For the next edge, that's the edge with all the cluster stitches. We're going to work a cluster stitch in each of these 34 clusters. So here's the first one, work a cluster stitch in there. That's the first of 34, which will bring it to the other side where you need to work one more. And that's very similar to the previous row. So that's second cluster, and here's a third. You've made many of these already. That's number three. So continue this until you've done 34, then you're on the other side, and I'll just show you the next corner again. At the end of the edge you've done 34 of these clusters and now you should have one double crochet left here before you get to the marked half double. In that double crochet work a cluster. And two. And now you have 35 clusters along this edge. That brings us in essence back to where we started. So in the half double here that I've marked, I'm going to work a new corner in there. So it's going to be a double crochet, followed by a half double, chain one, and a single. And then I'm going to move the stitch marker up to the half double, which is that stitch there. This is exactly the same as the corner we started with. So go all the way around. On your next edge you're going to have this uh, the, the flower again. Go all the way around and then close on your first stitch with a slip stitch. And then leave your white yarn attached. I'm going to work a short row again. And around the flower you have on your two edges. I'm going to start with color 2 on your hook with the slip knot. The first stitch we're making is a standing front post double around the front post double you already have here. So from the previous short row. Work a front post double around that stitch. Going to come to the back and in all the back post single crochets work a cluster stitch with chain ones in between. So that's a chain one and then in that first stitch and that's just important to see here you've got this single crochet that's not the one you're going for you're going for that first back post single so work a cluster stitch okay, so you're going to have five cluster stitches at the end of this round so one chain one and then come to the second work a cluster And another chain one. Remember your chain ones in between, otherwise your work's really going to pull in a lot. And chain one. Just need a bit more yarn. And this is then cluster number four, I believe. Chain one. And then this is the last one. I have five now, one, two, three, four, five years, and on those back post stitches. Chain one and finish with a, another front post double around that front post stitch. 
from the previous short round. There we go. And that's it. You can cut your yarn and open this stitch up. Do this on your other side as well. You're going to have two of these in total and then we're ready to go all the way around again with a long row. Round 34. We're again picking up the white yarn for this round. We're in that chain 2 um, double crochet and we're just going to move with a slip stitch to the marked half double. And now we're ready to start the round. Going to work a corner again, that's a double half double chain one single. Going to do chain two, that's the that has a first um, double crochet, followed by a half double. And there we go. I'm just gonna mark that half double again. Followed by chain one and a single in this same space, same stitch, I should say. And that's the corner. Rotating my work, I'm going to work a lot of chain one single crochet stitches till we're to the center where we've got the flower. So chain one. In the next chain one space, that's here between the half double and the single in there. Push your hook in there. It's a single crochet. Do this 19 more times. That'll bring you to the middle where your flower is. So this is repeat number one. Chain one. Repeat two. Chain one. Repeat number three. Continue until you're at the center. Your last single crochet falls in the chain space before the flower here. Now to continue we're going to skip this single crochet here and we're going to skip the front post stitch. We're going to go to that first space that's in between there. In between the cluster and that front post double. In that space work a single crochet. and be sure you keep hold of your stitch. Chain one, come to the next space, work a single. Chain one, come to the next space, single crochet. Chain one, next space, single crochet. Chain one, next space, Chain one, I'm going to rotate my work a bit and close that front post stitch there because you're going to work a single crochet in this last space here before that front post stitch, so in there. Work a single crochet. So now you've got them all between the cluster stitches. We're going to continue and come down and I'm just going to have to hold on to that, to that green yarn there going to come down, we're going to skip the first white stitch here, we're going to skip that one, and then come to this stitch here and work a single crochet in there. Chain one, and the single crochet chain one, repeat that 19 more times. And from now on they're going to be in the chain one spaces. Chain one, Single crochet, chain one, and that'll bring you that'll bring you to the corner. So repeat this until you're at the corner, and then I'll show you that last part. Almost to the corner, I've got 19 repeats here. In the chain one space, I've got single crochet, chain one. So in that space before the half double, work a single crochet, chain one. Going to skip the half double again and work the corner in the double. Just going to remove that 
and then that means in the double crochet we're going to work a single, that's the half, we're going to skip, come to the double, work a single crochet, chain one, a half double, I'm going to mark again, so in certain corners you work in the half double and some you work in the double, but I'm always marking the half double just to make it easier to recognize that stitch, followed by a double crochet. And that's the entire corner. This long edge, or a short edge, I'm not sure, but this edge with the um, with the cluster stitches. Again, work a cluster stitch on all of them, and that's going to be 35 in total. So you've got that first one there, work a cluster stitch on there, and then you go to the second and the third, you work a cluster stitch on all of them, and then I'll just see you on the other side for the last corner. After 35 cluster stitches, you have one double crochet left. In that double, work a cluster stitch. So that means you're going to have 36 clusters on this edge now. And take them off. In the half double, go to a corner, the same as the corner we had when we started. So it's going to be a double crochet followed by a half double, which I'm going to mark again, chain one, and a single. And that brings us to our starting point, which means everything that we've just done, let me find that half double, it's there, everything we've just done, go all the way around, repeat it once more, and close on your first chain two double crochet with a slip stitch. For the next round, leave your white yarn attached, because we've got one more round with the white yarn. Round 35. Just going to go to the half double here with a slip stitch to start the corner. The corner is a double crochet, that's a chain two, followed by a half double, which I'm going to mark again. chain one and a single in the same stitch. That's my corner. Just rotating my work. Then along the long edge here, I'm going to start with a chain one and a single crochet in the space here, between the half double and the single in that chain one space. Work a single crochet. And now repeat 20 more times, it will bring you to the center of your work. Let's repeat one, chain one, two, continue until you have 20, and then you'll be around here. Then they repeat 20 times, and then you're in that chain one space here before the flower. What we're going to do is we're going to be working in the chain one spaces that are between these singles and we're going to be working over those single crochets that are in the flower. I'll show you what I mean. The next single crochet, that's this one here, we're going to skip that stitch and then we're going to work a single crochet around this single into the chain one space that's between the clusters. So it means you're going to work a single crochet bet between the clusters and in the process you're going to be covering the single we made in the previous row. You can see how you're covering that stitch up. Then here in the chain one space, so in between there, work a single. Next stitch you're going to cover up again. And then work a single in the chain one space between. Then covering a single crochet and in between. Just turning to turn my work a bit. That one there 
and a single crochet in this space. And this one and a single crochet in that space there. And the last one here that's around that single there. In between the cluster and the treble I just need to still work away these yarn tails. And there we go. So now I've gone all the way round. Just need to fold my work a bit because it's getting larger. I'm going to skip the first single crochet, the, the, the next one in essence, that's and that one there. I'm going to skip that and then come to the chain space and in the chain space you work a single. And chain one. Repeat 20 more times, that'll bring you to the corner and I'll just see you there. Almost to the corner again. I need one more chain one. I'm going to skip the single crochet, come to the chain one space here that's between the single and the half double. Work a single crochet in there. Chain one. We're going to skip the half double again, so I'm going to remove that stitch marker. So stitch skip the half double. Then in the sing in the double crochet work a single. Chain one. Half double. Which I'm going to mark again. Followed by a double, and then that's the new corner made. Followed by a double. Now we're on to the cluster edge again, and here we're going to do exactly the same as we've done before. We're going to work a cluster on all of those stitches, and that's going to be 36 along this edge. So 36 clusters, one in each. And then I'll just see you here, because you're going to work 36 clusters, and then the corner is the same as before, but I'll show that to you again. But for the moment, in every cluster stitch, work a cluster. I have 36 clusters. There's one double crochet left, so this is really the same idea as the previous round. In that double crochet you work a cluster, and now you have 37 on this edge. Then in the marked stitch, that's the half double here, work a new corner. And that's the same corner as we have at the beginning of the round, so that's a double crochet, followed by a half double, which I'm going to mark again. I'm going to mark that half double, chain one, and a single in the same space, same stitch. That's the corner, the same as the corner we started with. So repeat everything that we just did two more, uh, one more time. And when you do get to the beginning this time around, so if I can just, oh, it's not, is this corner? No, it's not this corner. But if you come to the beginning on that chain two, you can close there with the slip stitch, and then you can actually cut your white yarn because the next round we're going to be using a color again. Round 36. We're going to start with a color again. I have color four on my hook, and we're going to start in the corner um, after the cluster. Do you see here the cluster stitches? And here are the stitches with the single crochets. So that's the corner we're starting in. So after the clusters, you'll have two of these. So you can choose either one of those two corners. What we're going to do is we're going to work in the half double. That's the stitch I have marked here. And work a corner in there. And that's going to be a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So in that half double that I've marked, work a single. chain one. Where I'm just going to move the stitch marker up to the chain one space. I'm just going to hook that over there and then work another single crochet in the same stitch, so in that same half double. And there. 
So that's my new corner. Single, chain one, single in the half double. So for the straight edge, and this is the long edge, so this is also the edge where you have the flower on. Going to work a long repeat again. That's chain one, and then a single crochet in the next chain one space. And the first one is here again between the half double and the single. So in there work a single. Repeat 21 more times. Chain one, come to the next space, work a single. So that's repeat number one. Chain one, a single. That's repeat number two. Continue until you've done 21 of these repeats, and that will bring you here to the to the um, to the flower. I've worked all the repeats, and your last stitch falls in the chain space here before the flower. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, work a front post double around this. What I had is my green front post double there. So around. That front post, work a front post double. We're going to skip the single crochet that's to the back, that's that last single there, and then come to this single, which is the one that's kind of worked between the clusters, the one that you work there over those stitch. In that stitch, we're going to work a single crochet popcorn, a five single popcorn. So I'm going to work five single crochets in there. So that's two, three, four, five single crochets. Open up, then come to the first single, that's that one, pick up the loop, pull tight, and pull through. And there we go. Chain one to complete the popcorn. I'm going to move on, and your next stitch is a single crochet stitch here. We're going to work a single. Um, we're going to skip that single, but actually come down to the cluster and work a front post double around that. So here around the cluster stitch, work a front post double. Going to nicely tuck that cluster stitch closed with this front post double. There we go. And that we're going to repeat on all of these. So your next stitch, so that means we're skipping that, that single crochet to the back. So the next one, sorry, so the next one is this single that's that's in between the clusters again. Work a popcorn on there. That's one. Two, three singles, so it's a single crochet popcorn. Four, five of those. Come to the first stitch, pick up the loop, pull through, and chain one. Then come to the next cluster and work a front post double around it. Again, repeating the next single here, but between the clusters work a single crochet popcorn. Two, three, four, five. Come to the first stitch, pull through, chain one to finish the popcorn. And you can see you've got a few more to do. Clusters, stitch around the cluster stitch, we work a front post double. Come to the next single here that's in between the cluster. So you're always skipping that stitch that's to the back of the front post stitches. Three, four, five. Pull through, chain one, and the front post double around the cluster. 
almost there. One, two, so we're making a single popcorn again. Three. quite a few of those that look very nice and the front post double around that last cluster there just get around it properly there we go so that's the entire cluster now we need one last popcorn they, they'll, they'll tend to fall a bit forward but as we make the next round that'll pull them back up again Rotate my work a little bit. There go. I have one last stitch that's uh, that single crochet there that's kind of here in this space. So, in there, work a last popcorn. Three, four, five single crochets. Open that up. Come back to the beginning, pull through, chain one. To finish off this flower, I'm going to work a front post double around this front post double of um, the short dress. So that's the same as on that side here. Around that stitch, work a front post double. I'm going to skip the single crochet that's to the back here, so that's that stitch, and then come to the chain space and work a single in there and chain one. Repeat 21 more times in the next chain space, single, chain one. So that's one, let's repeat number two, three. And that will bring you to the corner. So repeat this until you get to the corner. Almost to the corner. Chain one here. And then in the uh, between the single and the half double, you've got a chain one. Work a single crochet in there. Followed by another chain one. Next stitch is the marked half double going to skip the marked half double and come to the um, double crochet that's after that. I'm just going to rotate everything a bit again. And in that double crochet we work a corner. That's going to be a single chain one and a single. I'm just going to remove the stitch marker. That means that half double we're going to skip then come to the double where you work a single chain one which I'm just going to mark again. and then work another single in the same stitch. There you go. And that's your new corner. We're now at the edge with the um, with all the cluster stitches. Start with a chain one and now work a single crochet between the double and the cluster. So not so much in the cluster as it is between them. So really in between that stitch work a single. Chain one and then a single between the next two clusters. So really in between. So not in the top of a cluster but in between. Chain one and again chain one. You're going to repeat this until you're to the other side. I'll see you when you're at the other side after all of these cluster stitches. Almost to the other side. I've worked a single crochet between those last two clusters and that's a chain one. Then a single crochet between the last cluster and that double crochet. For me that's a chain two here. That's my starting chain two. So I'm just going to work in between those two. 
chain one and now you're ready to work a corner again in the half double that makes up the start of this round. So I've got the single crochet the, the stitch marker in the half double there. So in that half double I'm going to work a single crochet chain one mark that chain one again and work another single in the same stitch and, and there we go and this single crochet corner is the same as the corner we started with between the corner, so between this corner and the corner over here you now have on this edge between the clusters you have 38 single crochet so between the two corner stitches. Now everything we've just done repeat one more time so this is going to be an edge with a flower on work those popcorn stitches and when you're all the way around close on your first stitch with a slip stitch or an invisible join and the next round we'll be using white again. Round 37 I have the white yarn on my hook again and we're going to start in a chain one corner space where we have the side of the flower so the side I'm going to start working on contains the flower so that's the corner that I'm starting in. In that corner I'm going to start with a double crochet half double chain one single crochet. I'm going to work that in the corner space here. So I'm just going to start with a double crochet followed by a half double chain one and a single crochet. I'm just going to move the stitch marker to the half double which is uh, there. I'm just going to move the stitch marker up. There you go. The straight edge. Just chain one, single crochet and do that 22 times. So chain one in the next space here work a single and now 21 more times and a single continue until you're to the flower until you're to the flower halfway and then I'll see you there the last single crochet falls in the chain one space before the flower so I've now done all those repeats. Now to work the flower. We're going to skip the next stitch. That's going to be that single crochet. We're going to skip that stitch and then in the front post double you have here, going to work a popcorn stitch in there. So skipping the single crochet, go to the double crochet of the front post double I should say and work a popcorn. That means work five double crochets. Three, four, and this is number five. Five double crochets. And come back to the first one, pick up that loop, pick up the first loop, pull through, so pull that loop through this first one, and chain one to complete the popcorn. So popcorn on the front post double crochet. The next stitch here is this V popcorn we have, that that one. Work a half double on there. And some people like to work it in this stitch here, so that loop just kind of on the right of the popcorn. And some people like to work it on the chain one, so that would be here. In there and both are correct so it's just a matter of preference what way you where you like to to work your stitch um, personally I prefer to work it here on the right of the popcorn because I find that's easier than picking it up through the um, chain one loop that's on the top of the popcorn so that's all a matter of preference Next 
and this 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 popcorn and the half double we're going to repeat that all the way around so we're going to come to the next front post double here and work a popcorn on that so that's one two three four five come back to the first stitch two, three, and pick up your loop pull through chain one then come to the to the popcorn and work a half double on there now I've done the repeat twice I'm going to do I'm going to repeat this on all of these I'm going to make a jump in the video so on the next front post double here so that's here work a popcorn and then work a in the next stitch here work a half double and then a popcorn and a half double a popcorn and a half double popcorn and a half double and I'll see you here when you've worked that last half double so these two repeat this until you're here with that last half double I've done the repeat up to here so I now have six popcorns just work that half double you have one front post double here left that's the last front post double before we start with single crochets again in that last front post double we work one more popcorn so in there that means five doubles in that one stitch Five doubles. Come back to the first one. Pick up. Chain one. We now have seven popcorns here on this flower. The straight edge is very similar to the, um, the uh, to this side. So we're going to skip this next single. And that's that one. I'm going to skip that and come to the chain one space. In that chain one space, work a single crochet, followed by a chain one. Repeat this, well, in essence, until you're to the corner. So work all of these stitches, and then I'll see you when you get to the corner. Almost to the next corner, just work that single crochet there in the last chain one space chain one to finish the last repeat in the corner you work a single chain one followed by a half double and a double just going to mark the half double again straight edge. The next edge is the edge that has all the cluster stitches here. If you look here to the bottom you see all these cluster stitches. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. In every chain one space work a cluster stitch. So immediately in the next chain one space, that's that one there, work a cluster stitch. You're going to do that in every chain space. That will mean that means you will have 39 clusters when you get to the other side. So work a cluster stitch in every space, every chain one space. So you have now worked three of them. Continue like this until you're to the corner and then I'll see you for the next corner. When you've worked 39 clusters you're at the next corner. You can see here where I joined the previous round. Then in the chain one corner space go to work exactly the same corner as the corner we started with that means in that chain one space we work a double crochet half double which I'm just going to mark chain one and a single in that same corner space and this corner 
is the same as the corner we started with. So repeat everything we've done once more and close on that first standing double crochet. You can close with a slip stitch or an invisible join. And cut your yarn because next round is again the purple here, color 4. Round 38, I have my purple yarn, that's color 4 on my hook. And we're going to start in the half double, that's before the flower edge. So on this edge further along you have the flower. So you see here are the, the, um, the clusters. So that's the corner where we're starting, on the leading up to the flower. I'm going to start in the half double, that's the stitch that I've marked. So in the half double, going to start in there with a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. In that half double, the marked stitch, work a single, chain one, which I'm going to mark. So I'm going to move my stitch marker to that chain one corner position and work another single in the same half double. There you go. That's your new corner made. On the straight edge, we're going to be working a lot of single crochets, chain ones, chain one, come to the first space, chain one space, that's here between the half double and that first single, so in there, in that space, work a single crochet. And repeat 22 more times, that'll bring you to the flower single, chain one, in the next space work a single and continue until you're to the flower and then I'll just see you there. That last single crochet falls here before the flower. What we're now going to do is we're going to skip that single, you've got one single crochet left, we're going to skip that and we're going to skip the popcorn here and then come to that half double. You see that stitch there. We're going to work a single crochet in the half double. In that half double, work a single. And in the popcorn, also work a single. I'm going to repeat this all the way around. So in the popcorn, oh sorry, in the next one is the half double. In the half double, and the popcorn. And the half double. And the popcorn. The half double and the popcorn. I'm going to repeat five times. So starting with the first two stitches, that's six times in total. Let me just count where I'm at at the moment. So that was the last stitch, and that's one, two, three, four, five. So I need one more. So the half double here and the popcorn. So this is then the last stitches in the last popcorn. And there we go. Now at the other side of the arc, so of the of the flower here, I'm going to skip the single crochet immediately after. So it's that one there. I'm going to skip that one and then work a single crochet in the chain space. And now we're going to work again chain one single crochets until we're to the corner. So chain one, single crochet in the space. Chain one, single crochet in the space. Chain one in the space. And continue until you're to the corner. I'm almost to the corner. I still have a few more stitches to do. So chain one. I have a chain one space here between two singles. I'm going to work a single crochet in there. Chain one. And my next chain one space is between the single and the marked half double. So in there, that's the last single crochet that you're going to work. So it's between the single and the half double. And then chain one as we go to the corner. In the corner, 
we're going to skip the half double so that's the stitch that I've marked here, we're going to skip that and in the double crochet, that's a stitch after work a single chain one and a single I'm just going to remove the stitch marker so we skip the half double, come to the double crochet, work a single chain one, which I'm going to mark that chain one, because that's my new corner and then come to the same stitch, so that double crochet and work another single in there and also remember that chain one between that last single crochet and the corner the straight edge, that's the second edge, we're going to work more single crochets again so it's a chain one then a single between the double and the first cluster so you see that's the double we just worked in and here's the first cluster so in between there work a single chain one and a single between the next two clusters work the single chain one and single between the next two clusters continue this until you're to the other side and then I'll just show you the, the end of this edge and the corner and then you're ready to go all the way around again so continue this working a single crochet chain one between all the clusters almost to the next corner got the half double mark there still need to work a chain one and here between the last cluster and the half and the double crochet there in that space you can see I've got the slip stitch join there so between the last cluster and the double crochet work a single you now have 40 single crochets along this edge chain one and then to work the corner we're going to go to the half double that's the marked stitch here so single crochet chain one move the stitch marker and work another single in that same half double uh, that is the corner made there and this corner is the same as the corner we started with so this edge here is again an edge with a flower re re these two edges repeat that and close on your first stitch with the slip stitch Round 39, we're going to start in the corner before the flower edge again. So that's always the corner where we're starting. And can you see here are the cluster stitches and here are all the single crochet stitches. In the marked corner, the chain one corner space, start there with a double, half double, chain one and a single. So in that marked stitch, double crochet followed by a half double chain one I'm just going to mark that half double as being my new corner and a single in the chain space so double half double chain one single on the straight edge, I'm going to do the same as we've done many times before. I just need to rotate everything a bit. Oh dear, my cats are having an argument. Chain one. In the chain one space, work a single. Chain one, work a single in the next chain one space, and continue until you're to the flower. Then I'll see you there. I'm at the arc again, so at the flower, that last single crochet in that last chain space there. I'm going to skip the next single and we're going to come down to the popcorn rows and we're going to be working around those stitches. Around the popcorn, this first popcorn, I'm going to work a front post half double. So I'm just yarn over and then come from on the one side of the popcorn and the other side. So if you look at it from the top, it looks like that. Grab your yarn, come back, 
and work a half double. A front post half double. Go to do the same around the half double that's between the popcorns. That one there. Work a front post half double. That's two. Then around stitch number three. Oh, that's actually the popcorn. That'll be our third half double. And then come around the half double. So we're going to work the front post half double around the popcorns and the half doubles that are in between. So we're just going to come all the way around, work them one by one. And this means just folding your work a bit to really get around those stitches. And when you're around the popcorns, you'll notice that it really tucks your popcorn tight. Also you notice I'm not going there, I'm going here to really get around that post of the popcorn and not the top of the popcorn or the top of the half double, so really around the stitches. And I'm almost to the end here. The last half double here, that one, and then we're at the last popcorn, which also gets a front post half double. I'm just going to rotate everything. You can see how you've now worked like a white background around those stitches, and then around the last popcorn, work a front post half double. And skip the single crochet. That's the next single, which is uh, that one. Going to skip that, and come to the chain one space. And in the chain one space, work a single crochet. A single, and then chain one, and a single in the next chain space. Chain one, a single in the next space. Continue till you're to the corner. Almost to the next corner, just work this whole series of singles, chain ones. So work the last chain one, and now I'm at the corner, that mark stitch, and then work a single, chain one, a half double, and a double. That's your new corner. Then I'm just going to move the stitch marker to the half double because that's going to be my new corner. Along the next straight edge, that's going to be a cluster edge again. So let me just rotate my blanket. The cluster edge. I'm going to work a cluster in every chain one space. That's what you're going to be doing until you're to the other side. So here in the first chain space, work a cluster stitch. And then come to the next stitch, chain space, work a cluster stitch. You're going to have 40 of these cluster stitches by the time you're to the other side. Or 41, could also be 41. I'll just count when I'm to the other side. So continue, work a cluster stitch in every chain space. And then I'll just see you at the other side for the last corner. I've arrived at the next corner. I've now done 41 of these cluster stitches. And the next stitch is a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So that's a marked corner stitch. And then I'm going to work the same corner as the one that we started with. So that means in that chain corner space, I'm going to work a double crochet, followed by a half double. Chain one, I'm going to remove the stitch marker and just mark the half double because that's my new corner. And work a single in the same space. And there we go. Everything you've just done, repeat on the next edge, two edges also, and close on your first stitch. Round 40. 
color four on my hook again and we're starting in a marked half double leading up to the flower edge so the first edge we're going to work contains the flower again in the marked half double you work a single chain one and a single just going to mark that chain one with the stitch marker because that's my new corner and then finish with the single and the half double so that's the new corner there on the straight edge chain one single crochet till you get to the flower so chain one the first chain one space here is between the half double and the single chain one next is here in the space continue till you get to the flower and then I'll see you there. I'm at the arc at the flower. So I've worked all the single crochet chain ones. The last single crochet falls in that last chain one space here. So next one that single crochet and then comes all the stitches we've done here. What we're now going to do is we're going to skip all these white stitches from the previous round and actually come behind you see you've got those single crochets there behind. We're going to be working in those. And we're going to be working 12 singles, one in each of them. And we, the first one we're going to start is actually the one that looks as though it's the second stitch here. The reason is we're only going to be working in the single crochets that have actually been made in the arc. And that first one is that stitch there. That's not been made into the flower, that's just before. So we don't want that very first one, it's that one. You don't want that one, you want that second one here. There. That's the stitch you're going for. And then work a single in that, which is the first of 12. And we're going to be working them, for me they're all in purple here, so in your color 4. We're going to work 12 singles, which will bring you to the other side of the flower. I've got a few more and then I just want to count just to see where I'm at. Here we go and that is then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I've got 9 singles in there. So I've got a few more. I just rotate my work. That's 9. And then this is 10, 11, and that last one there is 12. And again here you see you have one single left there. And that's again actually that little stitch that you don't want. So we've only got those 12 singles in the middle. You can come down and come back to the white stitches. Now to skip the first one, that's going to be that stitch there, I'm going to skip that, and then come to the next chain one space, and in that chain one space we work a single. So in here, work a single. Chain one, come to the next space, and work a single. And continue with this until you're to the corner, then I'll just see you at the corner again. Almost to the next corner. This corner is the same as the corner we've worked here in the previous round in that purple. Chain one. My last single crochet comes here between the single and the half double. There's a chain one space in there. You work your last single crochet in there. Chain one. Then skipping the half double again, come to the double crochet in which you work a single chain one which I'm going to mark and then work a single that's your new corner along this edge we do exactly the same as we've done before that means a single crochet between the clusters and a chain one in between so it's chain one, there's a single crochet here between the double and the cluster, chain one, 
then between the two clusters work a single chain one and between the next two clusters work a single and repeat this until you're to the corner so this is a, exactly the same as we've done before almost to the corner chain one between the last cluster and the double here work a single crochet chain one then come to the half double, so I'm going to skip the double, then come to the half double, just a marked stitch, and work a single chain one, which is your new corner. So I'm just going to move the stitch marker up and complete the corner with a single in the half double. This corner is the same as the corner we started with, so repeat on this edge everything we've done and close on your first stitch. Round 41. We're going to start in a corner that's on the edge just before the flower, so again a flower edge corner. And we have the white yarn on our hooks. In the corner, start with a double half double, chain one and a single. So in that chain corner space work a double followed by a half double which I'm just going to mark as being the new corner chain one and a single crochet in that corner space your new corner. I'm going to rotate my work. For the edge I'm going to do chain one and a single crochet in the next space. That's here. And repeat that until you get to the flower. Chain one, single crochet in the next space. There's going to be quite a few of them and then you get to the flower and I'll just see you there. The last single crochet of the edge falls in that chain space just before the flower petals here. You see there's that last single crochet in the chain space and that single falls in there. We're now here to the arc. You've got those single crochets back there. We're going to be working in those. Chain one I'm going to skip the next stitch, that's this one. I'm going to skip, so that's a single crochet before the one that's on the arc here. So I'm going to skip that, then come to the next, which is the first single crochet here on the on the arch. Chain one, skip a stitch, and a single crochet. So this will be the third one here at the top. Chain one, skip a stitch, and come here to number five. The next three stitches we're going to be working in the single crochets and the arches, but we're also going to be actually catching the back loop of these white stitches. You see those front post half doubles, we're going to catch the back loops of those. And the first one we need is number six. So if you just count them here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's this half double here, that's number six. And we need the back loop of that. And the next stitch. Work a single crochet. Then again, with the next, it's the same. So with number seven here, back loop. And the next single and number eight and the next single so you get those of the center three there the next stitch work a single 
Just, just through the arch, nothing else. Chain one, skip a stitch, work a single crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, and work a single crochet. You can see that this is just slightly offset from the stitches here at the beginning. So you see now you're finishing in that stitch, which is just after the arch, that last stitch there. Chain one. And now we're going to come to the chain spaces. We're working a single crochet in the chain space. So that's going to be that chain space there. Chain one, next stitch, work a single crochet, chain one, and then the next, and continue until you're to the corner. I'm almost to the other corner. I've worked the last single crochet there. Chain one. Then in the chain one corner space, work a new corner. Going to be a single crochet, chain one, half double, and a double. And this corner is the same as what we've done many times before. So I'm going to mark that half double and rotate my work. Just turn my work. On the straight edge, if you've got the cluster stitches here, that's exactly what you're going to be doing again. So in the next chain one space, work a cluster stitch and work that until you're to the other side. And we go just a second here and continue until you have all of them, then you're on the other corner. I've worked all the cluster stitches, then you've got 43 in total, and then you're at the next chain corner space. So I'm going to work a new corner, the same as the starting corner, which is a double crochet followed by a half double chain one. I'm going to move the stitch marker to the half double and then a single crochet again in that chain corner space. And then you're ready for the next edge here which contains the flower side again. Go all the way around, so repeat once more and close on your first stitch. Round 42, I'm going to start in a corner half double that's on the edge of the flowers. In the marked stitch, that's the half double, we do a single crochet, chain one, which I'm going to mark. There we go. And another single crochet. And the color that you're using for this round is of course color three. For me the blue yarn is color three. Chain one and work a single crochet in the next chain one space. And continue this until you're to the flower so that you're halfway your blanket. I'm going to make a jump in the video. And I'll see you when you're halfway at those single crochets that we worked through the back loop of the previous round. Worked all those single crochets in the chain one spaces. I'm now here where we have these five single crochets all next to one another behind um, behind the flower petals. That's where we're at the moment. So I've worked that last single crochet there in that last chain one space. Chain one. We're now going to skip two stitches. So the first two of these singles we're going to skip and come to the third one and work a single crochet in there. And it's actually the middle one of the three that you worked in the back loop. So in that, that one there. 
chain one, skipping the next single, that's that one, skip that, then in the single crochet after that, which is the last one of those five here, work a single crochet. Chain one, and work a single in the next chain space. Chain one, and a single in the next chain space. And continue, chain one, single crochet, chain one, chain space until you're to the corner. And then you've, you've almost flattened out this edge. So I've all the single crochets, I'm at the corner. Chain one. In the next, the last chain one, you work a single crochet that's between the single and the half double. Chain one, skip the half double. So I'm just going to remove the stitch marker and try to rotate my work. And I'll just bring that back out a few. Then in the double crochet, there, work a single chain one. And a single crochet. Sorry, almost did a half double there. Single, chain one, and a single in the double crochet. The chain one is your corner, so I'm just going to mark that corner again. There we go. On the straight edge, chain one, between the double and the cluster, work a single, chain one. Between the next two clusters, work a single chain one, come to the next two clusters, and continue this until you're to the other side where you can work your next corner. Almost to the next corner, I've got here the last cluster and the double crochet, chain one, and then work a single between those two. Chain one, then come to the half double here, and on the half double work a single chain one, which is your new corner, and another single. And that's your new corner. This is the same corner as the corner we started with, because this is the flower edge. Repeat once more and close on your first stitch. Round 43, we're going to start in a corner before the flower edge, so here this side contains a flower. We're going to start in the chain one corner space with the corner we've done many times before. So we're going to start with a double crochet in the chain one space. Double crochet followed by a half double chain one and a single crochet, all in the same corner space. I'm just going to move my stitch marker to the half double here. There we go. For the straight edge, the same as many times before, chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space. And continue this un until you're halfway the flower, you're going to do you are going to work the, the first stitch and then repeat that 27 more times. So that's 28 of these single crochets. And then you're halfway the flower and I'll just see you there because we're just going to do something slightly different there. I've done the repeat and now I've, I've got 28 of these single crochets since the corner. So not counting the corner stitch itself. So starting from that first one there, and I have 28 single crochets. And now you're above the flower. What we're going to do is, in the next two chain spaces, we're going to be working a single crochet and grabbing this single crochet from the row below. So that's what we're going to be doing. So it's chain one, then come to the next space. And you see here these three singles that we worked into those back loops of the, I believe, the half doubles and the popcorns. 
going to go through that first one there and cover the chain one space in the process to work a single crochet. Then chain one, then come in to the next space but also work over the third one. So that's the last one of those three. And work the single crochet. And then chain one and a single crochet in the next chain space as normal. And this you then continue till you're to the corner. So I'll just see you at the corner again for the corner and the next edge. Almost to the corner, so I worked all the single crochets, chain one, single crochet here in the last chain space before the corner, chain one. Now we're at the corner, we work a single crochet, chain one, half double, and a double in the same space. Just going to move the stitch marker to the half double again. And there we go. At this edge, I'm sure you, you'll know we're working um, cluster stitches, so we're going to do the same on this edge also. The first chain space work a cluster stitch. You see that first space there. Go to the next space, work a cluster stitch, and continue this until you're to the corner. So in every chain space you're going to work a cluster stitch. I don't know if you can hear in the background. I hear my cat snoring. Maybe you can't, maybe it's just a bit too far away. But he's making quite a bit of noise here. We're going to work a cluster stitch in every chain space until we get to the corner. To the next corner, I've worked 45 cluster stitches. And then in the chain one corner space, we work a new corner, which is going to be a double crochet, half double, chain one, and a single. And I'm going to move the stitch marker to the half double again, which is this one. This is the same as the corner we started with, so repeat everything one more time. And when you're all done, you're finished with part four. You can really see the flower detail that we added this week that really just gives a bit of extra to the blanket. And you're getting more and more color on the outside edges also. Bring us to the end of part four of Baby Elements. Next week we'll do part five, which is the last part of this crochet along.